Hey folks, Ish Lens, also known as Audible Agent here. Um, got something kind of special today that I wanted to do on camera and share with everybody else. I purchased an M Heart, still in its packaging. And I really want to see what's in here. Uh, got this lock, see what kind of pins we're working with. I've only recently started learning about these locks, how they work. Found out that uh, the mastered M hearts are considered much more difficult. Um, and if you have uh, two or more mastered pins, then that's considered a black belt lock. And, you know, I was kind of talking to some people in LPU and in the unlocked Discord server and was sort of debating whether or not I should open this. But general consensus seems to be from the community that, yeah, I definitely should. Um, Somebody also mentioned that uh, they have seen M heart locks that are mastered typically come in these types of boxes. So um, I don't know what we're gonna get, but I thought it'd be fun to share kind of an unboxing, I guess, live on video or recorded as it is. Um, and yeah, real quick too, just before I forget, um, if you see a couple of uh, 3D printed things on my table, um, I've been keeping a stock of various lock sport tools and I've been selling them in the bazaar on LPU and in unlocked the other discord server and a couple others. Um, if you're interested in anything, uh, hit me up. I have quite a large stock in a lot of different colors, pretty cool stuff. Um, tried to keep these lock chucks in stock, including the clamps, um, all kinds of stuff really. So I'll share a link to my stock sheet for that and just kind of an overview page of what it is I'm selling. Um, prices are pretty good. You know, I'm not trying to make huge bucks off of these, just trying to make a little bit for my time. So anyway, um, that aside, let's get into this. I'm really pretty excited to do this, uh, share this with everybody as I'm opening it. And I'm not super prepared, so let me grab a knife. And actually, this is already kind of torn open. Maybe we could just explore this box real quick. Looks like, yeah, there's, this is the only part that's really kind of exposed the box. So, yeah, definitely feels kind of wrong to do this. This is, you know, an old lock, and I think these are becoming more and more rare, but let's do it. No idea what to expect. A lot of jingle jangles, though. Let's see if I can do this without harming the box too much. Right. Got some styrofoam in there. I don't know that's doing a whole lot because I, like I said, I hear a lot of jingle jangles going on. See what we have. Alright, let's get some of this hardware out of the way first. Before we look at the lock cylinder itself, let's take a look at what we have for keys. Cool tag. <clears throat> Here's the bidding. See, are these keys key to like? Looks like it. Just curious if there, if it was mastered, if it maybe came with a um, operating and control key. But these look to be the same bidding, at least by eye. And let's see, let's get to the good stuff here. Very cool. It's in good condition. Yeah, let's take this apart. This could be a total gutting disaster, which would be entertaining as well. 
Um, I've never taken one of these apart. I, I looked at the pictures on LPU belts, so I think I have a pretty good idea of what's going on. I don't think it's too different from your standard um, pin tumbler lock, but who knows, I could be surprised. So let's get this back off. Let's see. Don't wanna strip these screws. Okay, that one's loose. Let's get this one loose as well. Oh, that one is stripping. Let's see. I might hit this. Let me think. Hmm. What do I want to do? Well, really hope I don't mess up this screw. Now, that is pretty well and truly stripped out. Probably should have hit this with some heat or something before trying to gut it. Okay, let me think. What do I want to do here? I might have to drill this out. Yeah, I think that's what I have to do. Okay, so hang tight. I'm not going to make you guys wait for me as I go and grab the drill and, and try to drill this out, possibly make a huge mess of it. So I'll be back. Okay, I am back, but I might need to still do some more drilling. This is what I've done so far. You can see I haven't really damaged, I haven't damaged the tailpiece at all. I, it might be drilled out enough to get this tailpiece off. I'm gonna find out real quick, and if it's not, I'll have to go back out and drill some more. It's kind of a bummer, but at least, uh, you know, it's just a screw, right? So as long as I don't really damage the lock, the screw is replaceable. Tailpiece is probably replaceable. Looks like a sort of a universal tailpiece. Um, could be wrong about that, I don't know. Let's see, I am going to try to pry this off, just see if I get anywhere. If I don't, I'll have to briefly go back out to the garage and try to make some more progress on this. So let me see if I have something good I can pry with. Looks like it's wanting to go. Might be in luck here. Yeah, I think we're in the clear. Looks like this tailpiece is coming off. Just gently prise it off of the back. All right. Yep, still got a little bit of screw hanging on in the back there, but I'll be able to get that off without damaging this lock. So I think we're in good shape to proceed. All right, um, let's see. What kind of a follower am I gonna need? Looks like, looks like that's the right one. Um, I should probably, let's see, do I need to shim that? I think I'll be okay if I turn this plug clockwise that way I'm not on the side with the bit of screw that's still sticking out okay let's get a key go clockwise with this Again, I've never gutted one of these, so this could be this could make for an entertaining gutting disaster. That is, it might be too big. Let's see. What am I doing wrong? Let 
does not seem to want to go. Does this have to be gutted from the top? Is that the deal? Maybe that's the deal. We can do that. We can gut from the top. I might have to pause the video again to get this top piece off. Just thinking about how what I know of the pins and um, the fact that there are grooves on the plug that allow the drivers to um, have their little, I guess, protrusion fit into those grooves and allow the plug to rotate. So yeah, very well could be that um, that's what's holding us up. That kind of makes sense in my mind, I think. So yeah, I think we're probably gonna have to gut this from the top because that doesn't seem free to move forward and backward with the key in. Okay, well, I'll be back once again. Okay, I am back. The <clears throat> cover over the chambers is still on, as you can probably tell. Um, I tried to stick something back here and get this to move freely towards uh, the back of the lock, but wasn't having success with that. Um, I'm not too worried about this top piece. I mean, I, I feel like, you know, those are common on a lot of mortise locks that should be replaceable. And I know from experience, you know, I, I can pry this off upward and yeah, it'll kind of bend to escape this path up here, but I can kind of bend it back into shape and, and get that cover back on. So I think that's my plan right now. I think I'm just gonna pry from this bottom edge. And I don't want to hurt the springs. So I'm gonna grab some pliers. Let's see, I'll be right back. Okay, I have some pliers. Let's get these followers out of the way. I'm sure people are screaming at the screen right now. You idiot, that's not the right way to do this. Um, I'm sorry, this is the first time getting this. I was sort of expecting I could slide that plug out, but I don't think that's gonna happen. And I'm very confident I can get a replacement piece for this. So I'm just gonna slowly prise this off without hurting the springs. And I don't really care if I ruin that piece because I should be able to get another one. Kind of opening it like a tuna can here. Almost there. Okay. Time to see what I ended up with. Let's get the springs out first. These look like fairly standard springs too, so even if I had hurt the springs, um, it looks like I could replace them. Last spring is out. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, something came out. I don't think I have my tweezers down here. Okay. Okay, it doesn't look like the first one is mastered and I'll do a close-up of this after getting these pins out. 
Same deal for the second one. Does not appear to be mastered. Same for the third. I'm guessing at this point, probably not going to find anything mastered. So I believe that would make this a red belt lock since it is six pins. Um, let's see. Fifth one doesn't want to come out. Let's get the sixth real quick. Again, not mastered. And there goes the fifth. Yeah, so no master pin. So unfortunately, this is not a black belt M heart. That's okay. It's still a very cool lock. <clears throat> Let's get this plug out. There's a half moon in there. If we take a quick look, look at this. So yeah, I think um, basically the way these driver pins um, interact with the key pins and the fact that there's uh, kind of this interlocking component between the driver pin and the key pins is what was preventing us from being able to slide this out. Because if we take a look at One of these driver pins, you can probably see that little nub that sticks out of the bottom and that interlocks with a piece on the key pin. And so when you stick the key in and rotate, that little fin is going to go into these grooves, which would mean you couldn't move it forward or back. So that's why I couldn't get the plug out. So yeah, little learning experience there. Um, interesting lock, very cool. Let's do a close up. Trying to arrange these key pins so you can see the little groove on there that corresponds to the nub on the driver pins. Let's get that one too. Oh, that one's still locked together. You can kind of see that. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the Corbin Ruswin M Hart six pin. As I found out now, this is the red belt version. There are no mastered pins on this. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, here's the, the box. And if anybody's curious, I paid about $90 for this. Um, it was a good eBay deal that somebody in LPU found and I jumped on it. Um, I do wish it was a black belt lock, but hey, that's okay that it's not. And I will find a replacement piece for this and a replacement screw. Bummer I drilled that screw out because that wasn't actually necessary once you found out that the, uh, the plug couldn't move forward or backward, but um, yeah, there's no, no damage to the tailpiece. I just got to get that screw out now and that shouldn't be an issue at all. So yeah, anyway, hope this was interesting for somebody out there. It's kind of fun to do an on unboxing. Um, take care.